Hi Capricorn, this is going to be your reading for November of 2019 for Twin Flames. So I hope you're doing well and thank you for stopping by today. I hope I'm going to give you some clarity and insight into your situation with your twin. And also, if you would like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading with me, information will be down below as well. They're done within um, 24 to 48 hours. And also... If you'd like to purchase any of my bracelets, they will be on Etsy. They are intention bracelets. I do have the twin flame ones on there as well. I'm not actually wearing that one right now. I am wearing a different one. This is the wealth bracelet. So yeah, they are on there. I also have a yin and yang bracelet or yin and yang bracelet. Oh God, I can't even pronounce it. Um, but yeah, we have those on there. And honestly, they the, the support that I've got on those bracelets and just to see how they've been working for so many of you is just mind-blowing and amazing so thank you so much for all of the support um free international shipping on everything they are very very affordable in my opinion and they're handmade so have a look if you would like to link will be down in the description box below to the bracelets you can also check out the reviews as well okay capricorn what is going on in november king of wands we have king of wands we got the Emperor, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, is there an opening here? Is there some union going on here? Ooh, there's definite attraction though, because, right, the King of Wands is really an action taker, is a pursuer and what's really interesting is that we have three pursuing cards here I mean even the page of cups to a subtle level likes to pursue but especially with the emperor and the knight of cups both of them are wearing armor they want to fight for you there's these two very strong cards of physical attraction coming through with the emperor and the king of wands with that fire energy but also from the page to the knight this just shows how much their feelings towards you have grown i mean they know that you are special because their feelings have really manifested i mean there's a fish in that cup but then we've also got the knight of cups which shows they are coming forward they're expressing things to you now it's not uncommon for this to happen during this time and you know why because it's the Mercury retrograde and when it's the Mercury retrograde people come into our lives and it could you know and express things and just feel like they cannot hold back so that's what I'm seeing and if you are not in contact with your twin or things like that you can expect communication you can expect things to just come to the surface really but what I am seeing is that this is for those of you who are just you know so close to union this is about Things just coming together, you know, an expression of emotions, them wanting to fight for you, them wanting to take things further, and really wanting to progress with you. Look at that, we've got the Hermit, right? So this is about them really opening up, because when you've got the Hermit, this is about them really thinking about you, them wanting to be around you, but also them, you know, trying to think of the right opportunity, the right moment, and I feel like when they're mainly in their own space, their own energy, they really, really, really do think a lot about you, dream a lot about you as well and I feel like all of this combined has just really led them to think now's the time, now is the time when I should speak up, say something and also offer my cup, especially with the Queen of Wands, it just shows that they think of you as their counterpart, they think of you as someone so special in that manner and so the Hermit here is showing that yes, you know, they use their own time to think a lot about you. So there you go with the hermit. They're definitely overthinking a lot in regards to you. Queen of Swords, right? Communication, the Empress. Now, if you're male or female, remember I read energies in tarot. Okay, so we've got the Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, and the Empress. This person has a lot of love for you. Okay, you can be a male and always take on these energies as well because it's all about energy. So, the Queen of Swords shows that they really do think that you are very, 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 you're just the right person, essentially. They feel so attracted to you, they see you as their, their other, and they just feel that you're so committed and dedicated to the things that you do, you're very passionate about the things that you do, that you just live very authentically 
in that way and you follow your gut and your emotions. The Queen of Swords here really does show that they have respect for you, for the way that you are. And also with the Empress here, again, a lot of respect for you, a lot of love for you, and they also feel very get kind of attached to you as well in that way. They definitely see you as part of their future. And that's what's coming through. Oh my god, Capricorn, what a reading. What a reading. What a reading. Okay, we've got these two nines. These two nines came out in the Virgo reading as well. Both of these two nines. I think it's very important as well that if you do feel like this, because I'm seeing that this really does go quite hand in hand with your energy. What I am seeing is if you feel like you're constantly just overthinking this whole situation, if you feel just really like lost without your twin flame, it's time to take your energy back and put your energy into yourself and to really uplift yourself because I see that you have every right to feel good. And I know that sometimes things can be quite difficult and it's just about really accepting that and then being able to progress, you know, learning from that and being able to progress because otherwise you're going to be stuck in this for too long. It can be draining and toxic and just not nice. So what I would suggest is just taking your energy back, focusing on your goals, your hobbies, your dreams, taking one step at a time to your goals, hobbies, dreams, spending it with people that you absolutely love that are around you and trying to uplift yourself because I see that there is this uplifting feeling that will happen where you will literally go from the nine to the other nine, from the nine of swords to the nine of pentacles, which is growth. It's growth within yourself as well, you know, feeling much more confident. This can also be tied to the fact that your twin will be offering and coming forward, but I also feel that there are better chances of you feeling more uplifted. If you're uplifted before your twin comes, and really expresses all of this to you, then you're going to feel 10 times better. If you're feeling like this and then your twin comes, you'll feel good, but you'll feel better if you're feeling like this when your twin comes. Okay, so I'm seeing that a lot of this worry actually stems from this connection. We also have here the Page of Swords, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and we have the Sun. So what I'm going to do is put the Sun there. So there's abundance in this connection. Absolutely. Page of Swords also shows communication. Look at that. We've got King, Queen, King, Queen. Look at that. King and Queens. Such a strong, strong, powerful message. They're on the same wavelength as you. They really are. And they're getting to that point where they want to be on the same page as you. They want to be able to give you something. They want to be able to come forward, express things to you. As we saw with these two pages, show that expression on a subtle level. And then things will really grow. I'm seeing that November is so powerful because of the Mercury retrograde. It's just so, so powerful. I mean, they really come forward. Really, really come forward. And look at this. Look at the sun. Positivity, happiness, joy, expression. Them not holding back. Don't be afraid to live your best life in November and to just do you and be the highest version of yourself, you know, because I think that that is just going to make you feel so, so good and it's going to also boost the connection as well, you know, got a lot of sunflowers here, so it's just really important to just be in your best energy, it's your best energy, Capricorn, I think that's the best thing that you can do. So, I mean, the fact that we've got these king and queens just shows how much of a fit the two of you are. It's incredible. So, wow, wow, wow. I definitely have to title this video King and Queen because it, it really is. The two of you are counterparts for sure. So, here we go. Here we have the reading Capricorn. And if this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for all of the love and support on my channel. It means so much to me. And also, don't forget to check out the description box below for information on the private paid readings, the free reading giveaway, and my bracelets, which are on Etsy. And... Yeah, just a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart. So much gratitude for all of the support that I have received on this channel. And yeah, I just, I love doing this and I love working with so many of you and it means so much. So I hope you all have a lovely day or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. And um, take care Capricorn and I hope to see you very, very soon uh, for maybe another video. All right.
Bye.